Hello there. Welcome to the Beautification Initiative presentation brought to you by the Community Development Director of the City of Park Hills, Rachel St. Pierre. If you are unfamiliar with TIF, let's go over a brief rundown. TIF stands for Tax Increment Financing. Park Hills currently has four different TIF districts. TIFs tend to last 26 years. The lifespan only starts when a project initiates it. When the first project within the district starts, the Economic Activity Taxes, EATS, and Payments in Lieu of Taxes, Pilots, are frozen. EATS are the sales tax revenue and pilots are the property taxes. This is then called the base year. Developers apply for the funding by passing a redevelopment agreement with City Council. After every year, when reimbursements are due to the project owner, the increment between the base year and the current year are assessed and we calculate a percentage to set aside to create funding in the TIF. The fund does not bear interest and does not disappear if it goes unused. Developers can receive yearly reimbursements based on their EATS, 50% could be returned, and their pilots, 100% could be returned. It may take one year or 26 years to get your total project costs reimbursed. On the previous slide, we discussed the traditional method of applying for TIF funds. The first problem is that there is zero financial support at the start of your project. The second problem is that you may only get back a very small amount every year and overall, since reimbursements are based off of the taxes for your property and or business. Lastly, you have to wait a year after the project completion to get a reimbursement. This gives time for the business to create sales tax revenue, if applicable, and for the assessor to reevaluate the new construction. So now we have created the Beautification Initiative. It is a program within the TIF that allows the city to enter into business agreements and make the funding much more accessible. Our first solution was to budget for the idea. We had to review prior years and assume that the economy would continue to grow. Then we had to work with our attorneys and city council to compose the applications, agreements, and resolutions to initiate the program. Solution number two was to include a 50% reimbursement up front to help with the assumed 20 to 35% down that is usually required of contractors. We then put a stipulation that work would need to be completed in 180 days to match the lifespan of a permit and the assumed billing schedule of most contractors and businesses. This would allow enough time for work to com be completed, but also would potentially match when a final bill from a contractor would come in. For this program, the first step is to just complete the application. This is done by the applicant. Step two is to bring the application and business agreement in front of city council for their approval. This is completed by the city. The final step is to return the receipts and the certificate of completion in order to get your remaining balance due. Step one, complete the application packet. This is available online and in the office. We also have an estimate template and a drawing template that can be utilized. We would like to see bids or copies of material quotes, schedule from beginning to end, and depictions of the improvements. Keep in mind that the maximum amount that can be reimbursed using this program is $5,000. If you have a larger project, you may want to follow the longer turnaround TIF procedure. When enough applications have been approved that the budget is depleted, the program will cease until the following year. We hope to make this a yearly program and extend it into our other TIFs as well. On this slide are links to the assessor's real property search and the GIS map for our county. If you don't know your legal description, we recommend using these websites to find that out. It could also be on your deed. Here we also show the examples of the drawing template and the estimate template that can be used. These forms are found on our website under forms under community development. Step two, here you get to sit back and relax. The community development department will complete your business agreement and present it to the city council for their approval. City council meets on the second Tuesday of each month. An application would need to be turned in no later than five business days before the meeting. After approval, the city will create a check for 50% of the costs. 
This check can be mailed or picked up at City Hall. The Community Development Department will be sure to reach out within 24 hours of the meeting to give you an update on the status of your project. Since you had a chance to relax during the last step, it's your turn to do some heavy lifting. You now have 180 days to complete your project. If your work requires a permit, be sure to apply for one and keep the receipt. Be sure to track all of your expenses, receipts, or contracts as you will need to turn these items in. The Certificate of Substantial Completion is included in the application packet and can be found on the website under Forms. Once that is turned in, we will then verify the costs and in the installation in two to three business days. After we confirm that the work was completed, we will create a check for the remaining balance due and notify you in two to three business days. When you're done, make sure you show off your hard work and enjoy the compliments that are sure to arise. The Community Development Department team includes Audrey Arena, our permit clerk. She can assist you with permit applications and accepting paperwork. Ray Robertson, our code enforcement officer, who will complete inspections and verify quality of work. And Rachel St. Pierre, the Director of Community Development. Whenever you need help, make sure to reach out to us. We will be happy to answer all questions. Forms can always be emailed in. We are located in the lower level of City Hall next to the court and in the same lobby as the Park Hills Lettington Chamber of Commerce. The links at the bottom will take you to the forms page of our website, the assessor's real property search, and the GIS map. Thank you for listening to our presentation.